This After Effects video is brought to you by Gung Ho Ninja Like Focus Focus Shots. Gung Ho is there to increase your focus, brain energy memory, long term brain health, and plus it's all natural, no sugar, no calories, and no crash. Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. In this video, we're going to be doing some skin touch up, softening, and blemish removal. So here's what we're going to be doing today. This is the model we're going to be using with. She actually doesn't have any makeup on. She had just taken it all off. And there's a little bit of redness in her eyes because of the makeup remover. You can see a little bit of blemishes here and here and things like that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to be doing some tracking. We're going to be doing some keying and different things like that, different techniques in order to clean this up and get more of a soft finished look. Now this is not something you want to do on an everyday video. Uh, maybe you have a wedding video or something like that where you just need to go in and touch up on some blemishes, maybe something like that. Um, but lots of skills you're going to be able to learn from this tutorial on doing this kind of thing. You can see I've even brightened the eyes a little bit, brightened the lip color, and things like that. So let's get started with a brand new composition. I'm going to call this touch up. It's two seconds long. And let's bring in our footage. And we have the shot of the girl. And you notice there's some redness around the eyes. There's a couple of blemishes, some redness here on the cheek. Before I get started, I do want to do a slight color correction on this so that everything is being I'm being done is already color corrected. So let's go to effect, color correction, curves. And there's just a little bit of yellow in the whites. I'm going to go down to the blue channel and I'm going to bump the blue to make things a little bit more white. Maybe drop it a tiny bit in the midtones. That looks better. Now I'm going to go ahead and pre-compose this just so that everything's in a nice neat composition. I'm going to just call that footage. And this is what we're starting with. So there's two things I'm going to be doing. First I'm going to be touching up on some of these blemishes and little spots on the skin. And then I'm going to do an overall skin treatment. But first I want to get these spots. And really the easiest way to do that is with the mask tracker. If you're on After Effects CC, there's a new tracker called the mask tracker. And it's really slick and it works great for this kind of a thing. So let's first do the redness around the eyes. So I'm going to take this footage. I'm going to duplicate it. Let's label this eyes. Let's go somewhere in the middle where we can see. And I'm going to zoom into the eyes. And then let's take the mask pen tool. And let's grab some of this redness. And I'm going to, right here where it goes across, I want these to be right on top of each other so we don't have a line there. But I do want this all as one mask. Now that I have the mask done, it looks like she's wearing goggles. I'm going to hit M on the keyboard. It brings up my mask. And if I right click on it, it says track mask and brings over to my mask tracker. Now with this, since she's turning her head, I want to track the method is perspective. So I put it on perspective. And since I'm right in the middle, I need to track both forward and backwards. So I'm going to track backwards. And what perspective does, you can see that it's actually changing the shape of the mask and where the points are relative to each other. Looks like it's turning around her eyes, or around her head. Now let's go forward. Okay. So now if I go ahead and solo this layer, that's this first checkbox that has the, the big dot on it, you can see just the eyes. And I can come in and maybe feather this mask just a tiny bit. But what I want to do is I want to get some of this redness out. So I'm going to go into the color correction and let's get the curves. And let's drop some of the red. Now it may look a little bit funny. Like it's a little green. So we can come in to the green. Maybe drop some of the green as well. And let's go into the, just the RGB and brighten them up. 
So let's take a look at before and after. You can see that it took out a lot of the redness. And what I might want to do is come into this mask expansion and maybe bring it a little bit. There's a little bit too much lightness going on over here. That solved a lot of the redness problem in the eyes. So now let's take and do one of these blemishes. So that mask tracker really helped out really great. So now we're just going to do this kind of more and more layers like this to fix up some of these spots. So let's grab this blemish right here on her chin. I'm going to go to the original footage layer, duplicate that, give it a name, and we're going to do the mask tracker again. Now with a little blemish like this, I'm going to do things differently than when I use go around the eyes, and you'll see here in a minute. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just a tiny little track right there, and then do a big kind of a mushroom, and then back down to get that. And you'll see here in a second what this is for. But I'm going to track left. And then track to the right. And the mass tracker is really good at, at following along. It's pretty pretty decent track. So now if I can take this and I solo it, you can see there's the blemish. But if I come into the mask and then change the expansion, well now that's gone. And the reason why I did that is so I can move this now. I can take this and just move the position to cover up that blemish. And the reason why is because with the mask tracker, it's not moving the position at all, but it's moving the mask. And I can't go in and move that around. If I track just a little track around just the blemish, well then it's there forever and I can't move it. I, you know, I can't patch this. So if I do it that way and I change the expansion, well then I can get rid of that and be able to use this as a patch. So let's cover that. Let's see what the, it looks like. It's a little, not quite the right color here at the beginning. So I can keyframe this um, opacity or this feather. It's looking good about right here. So let's add a keyframe to the feather. Let's go to the beginning. And if I add a little bit more feather, it's going to blend a little bit better. Pretty darn good. So there's after, there's before. Okay, now let's do a little bit more. Let's go in and maybe change her lip color. Let's go to the footage again, duplicate that, give it a name, and let's come in and do a nice tight mask around her lips. She didn't really smile much. So there's not a lot of change in the shape of her lips, except for it is changing perspective since it's rotating. So now that we have this, let's go to the mask, hit the tracker. We're going to track to the right and to the left. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and solo this. I might come into the feather. If I hit F on the keyboard while I have this selected, it's going to go straight to my mask feather. So I'll feather that a little bit. And now we can come in and do some color correction to this. So let's go to the effect color correction and let's just go to the curves. And let's start with the RGB curves. Maybe increase the contrast. If we want to come in and maybe change the color. We, and if it's too bright, we can always come in and bring the opacity down on the layer. See, we've just gone and changed our lip color. Now, some other things we can do that are fun. If we go into, let's select that lip color again. Let's go to the effect, stylize, and let's go to CC plastic. And I want to add little speculars and highlights to this. So if we come into the softness, bring the softness down a little bit, change the height. We're going to make this look like it's kind of 
Maybe has some lip gloss on or something like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer. I'm going to come to the original lip at the bottom. I'm going to delete that plastic. And then I'm going to go into the mask on this second layer. I'm going to bring the expansion in. I want it just in the center. Maybe feather it a little bit more. You see, it just it's subtle, but it adds some nice definition to the lips there. Okay, so that's that. Let's go ahead and grab this uh, blemish here on the side. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did for the one on the chin. So let's duplicate the bottom footage. Give it a name. Remember, a little tiny mask that goes into a bigger mask. And let's track that. Okay, there it's starting to break, but that's fine because we can't see it anymore. And when something like that happens, just move until the mask looks the same and there's not a lot of movements. I'm going to hit U on the keyboard. It brings up my keyframes. I'm going to just delete those ones that it made. All right. Now that we have this, let's go ahead and solo that. And we can see there is our patch. I'm going to come down into the bottom in the mask. I'm going to bring the expansion down. A feather up and then I can take this and just put it right on top might need to add a little bit more feather with this it's not going to quite match up properly so I am going to keyframe the position so right there it's looking pretty good so keyframe the position And right here where it, that blemish is more showing, I'm going to move it to cover it up. That's looking pretty good. And then I'm going to change the opacity on this to go from zero, fade in. Maybe a little bit longer of a fade. All right, this is looking pretty good. Now I, what I want to do is let's brighten up her eyes. It's going to be a little bit more difficult, but I already have this track of the eyes. That's a pretty good track. So I'm going to duplicate this. Let's go into the mask and maybe bring the feather down a little bit. Expansion out. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a key. So let's go to Effect, Keying, go to Key Light. Let's grab that skin color. We switch over to screen map, we can kind of see what's going on. And what I need to do is adjust in the screen map the clip black, clip white, and then let's go in and soften that. You bring expansion back down again. Set this over to intermediate results. Let's take it off solo. And from here, let's go ahead. I'm going to duplicate this curves. Let's bring it down to the bottom. Reset it. And let's go into the RGB curves. And if I, I can see I can brighten this up, and I'm not quite right where I want it. I, the top is not quite there. So I can come in, maybe adjust this a little bit. Let's come into the key light looking better so brighten up her eyes quite a bit if I want to I can even come into maybe the blue channel add a little bit of blue it's gonna make her eyes look a little bit more wider go into the red maybe drop the reds a little bit and that's a little bit intense so I can come in and bring the opacity down on that layer. I can also come in on the curves and bring that down. Let's see before and after. I like that. So I think that's all I'm going to do on the just the touch up. Let's take a look at these. I'm going to turn all these off. Let's get a nice close up of the face. So first, fix that side blemish. 
change the lip color. Maybe we can make that a little bit more intense. Add a little bit of sheen to the lip. Fix the blemish on the chin. Took the red out of the eyes. Brighten up the eyes. Now before we continue on with the tutorial, I want to talk about the sponsor for this video, which is Gung Ho. Again, these are focus shots. Go to gogungho.com. And why I... And it's interesting because I actually had used this today because a couple of reasons. I've been sick. Um, all of the other people in the office are out. I'm the only one in the office today. There was an Apple press conference. And all of these different things are kind of distracting me. And I had a lot of work I needed to do and really focus on. And so this was the perfect opportunity to use a product like this to help me focus on the work I was supposed to be doing on video editing. And if you're a video editor or a motion artist, um, you know it's not always the most glamorous jobs. There's lots of repetitive things, and you really got to sit down and focus and do the job. And it can take a long time. Say you're rotoscoping something, that can take a long time to do. So it's all natural. There's no sugar, no calories, which means there's no crash. It's not going to be like an energy drink where you just get wired and then all of a sudden you're crashed and you're falling asleep. This is more like an energy drink for your brain. Now, with that being said, let's talk about taste. Um, I'll have to say it doesn't taste terrible, but it's not the best thing in the world. But that's good because you don't want this to taste like a big sugary drink or like it was a popsicle that's melted. It kind of tastes like a very concentrated form of an energy drink. You can taste some of the different supplements in there. There's no sugar, so it doesn't taste sweet, but there is a nice citrus flavor to it. And it's something that's very easy to drink. Um, it's very palatable, and it's not going to make you sick. So that's Gung Ho. So go to gogungho.com. They've got a free trial. You can you just have to pay for shipping, and they'll send out three samples to you, which is more than you need for a day's worth of trial for something like this. So again, gogungho.com. So let's get back to the tutorial. Now what I want to do is I want to do an overall skin kind of softening and correction. And to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of this, all these layers, I'm going to pre-compose it. So Command Shift C on your keyboard, give it a name. I just said full face. And now time to take this layer and duplicate it. This top layer, we need to do another key. So if we come down to Effect, King, Key Light, and we need to select just the general skin tones. It's going to look funny at first, but let's go ahead and hide that bottom layer. Let's switch this view over to screen mat and everything's kind of black and white now and what you want is you want the skin to be white and everything else to be black and so in order to do that let's come into screen mat and let's reverse these so the clip white I want down to zero and then the clip black let's bring up until we got the skin tones kind of where we want them that's pretty good I'm going to come in and soften the screen a lot. And a couple of other things we need to do. First, we need to go to this unpre multiply results, uncheck that. And then the view, we need to go to intermediate result. And then from here, let's turn down, let's turn back on our bottom layer. And as I turn on and off this top layer, you can't see any difference because it's just turning right back on top. I can even come in here, maybe even make this a little bit more soft. And what I'm doing is I'm just selecting the skin tones right here. And then in order to smooth out the tone of her skin, I'm going to do a brightness contrast effect. So let's go do effect, color correction, brightness contrast. And if you reduce the contrast, then the skin's going to look smoother. So let's bring the contrast down. Maybe brighten it up a little bit. But as you do that, you tend to lose some of the color. So we come into the color correction, add some saturation. And then let's take a look at the difference. That's with it, that's without. See, it kind of smooths everything out. Now, next let's do some noise reduction. So we're gonna come into the noise and grain and just remove grain, set this to final output, 
Now, noise reduction is going to take a lot of resources and processing power, so this is something you want to do last. So in the noise reduction settings, let's maybe bring this up a little bit. Make it nice and soft. And then let's come in and sharpen it back up post-process. So that is the after. Let's go into this and grab a before shot. So just this original footage, I'm going to copy that. Go back to my main layer. Bring it in here, throw it on top. So that is with no touch-up. And there's the touch-up. You can see quite a bit of difference. And this is all going to play. So it's going to track the eyes. It's going to track the colors. So I hope you learned a lot. This is the basics of skin touch-up. So again, if you're doing like a wedding video, this is perfect for that. You can go in and get that one little blemish that maybe the bride didn't cover up very well with her makeup or something like that. Or maybe you just want an overall softer, more creamy skin in the video you're making. This is how you do it. So there's lots of layers, lots of compositing, but the mask tracker makes light work of this. Pretty, pretty easy to use to be able to spot hit those blemishes, to change the eye color, even the lip color. So quite a dramatic change, um, yet fairly subtle at the same time. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to post them down in the comments below. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I put out two tutorials every week. On Wednesdays, it's quick tips. These are one, two minute videos that are on a quick little topic to kind of get you into After Effects right away and a quick little skill. On Fridays are longer tutorials like this one where we dive more deep into After Effects and the power it can do. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.